All right, well, here we are. It is Saturday, April 18th, and Jay Bird and I were down here till about 9 o'clock last night getting this ditch all situated. And as you can see, it is full of water again this morning. So we got the sump pump in there. Got to get the generator fired up because we don't have electric hooked up yet. So we'll bring this over here. Oh, buckets. These little Predator generators from uh, 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 Harbor Freight are awesome. They work great. All right, well, where am I going to set you up? Let me, uh, maybe it can work right here. All right. Start, run. That must be the choke. Uh, engine switch on. I've never started this thing before. All right, that should be good. Now we gotta find. There's a plug your inner. Alright, we developed a slight leak, but that's okay. Uh, last night when we went to bed, or went up for the night about 9, 9.30, this was empty. Okay, so let's start here. So right here, we need a 45, we're gonna come up. We need a little piece of pipe and then we're gonna elbow straight up and then this is, the toilet flange is gonna sit in here. And then we need another fitting to come off of the stand pipe for the toilet. Come over, uh, probably two inch and then up the wall so we'll need a I guess you'd call it a four inch to two inch Y or T some pipe 90 and then up the wall and a cap for that and then so we have 10 feet of four inch pipe there so we're just going to come out here and then we're going to 45 across, up, and then put the standpipe up there. We'll need a cap for that too. So we'll need a 90 there. We're going to need a strap. So cap, standpipe, strap. 90 back this way a 45 section of pipe come down here this is where we'll tee off if we can find a tee that has a it's like a 45 Y or whatever that would work right there um, then our 90, then our 2 inch T. I gotta see what pipe I have. It is April 13th, 3.48 in the afternoon. Jay Bird and I just got done running all the sewer lines and bedding it in with sand. Everything 
although somewhat of a pain in the butt. Uh, turned out pretty good for a bunch of oops amateurs right there you can see there's a stand pipe up against the back wall here so everything's bedded in real good I don't think we'll have any problems uh, had to run to Lowe's this morning get some pipe right there is all the stuff we had left and we ended up using some pipe that I had left over from 20 years ago when I built the house. So just wanted to get a short video, show you what's up here now. It'll make a little more sense once we, the concrete's poured, but for now, yeah, that pipe's leaning a little towards wangers, but it won't matter. It's getting cut off flush with the floor. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a, a two inch, uh, a four to two inch Y pipe in here. We're gonna run a two inch drain over to go up this wall for a sink. And uh, then as far as the pipe work's done, we're pretty much done. Then the rest is just gonna be backfilling and grading everything off. And Dan, if you ever watch these videos, I, Jay Bird and I, greatly appreciate you letting us use your well not just your skid steer now your equipment <laughs> we didn't move the backup though. yeah we didn't move the backhoe yet but we just found out that the gosh dang uh what'd you do with that wire anyway the uh guys when they drilled this post they drilled through my wire that goes to my septic so we're gonna have to Dig a hole out there and I'll have to splice into it and figure that mess out later. But for now, we just got to get ready for concrete. All right, well, let's go back here. We'll give you a look on how things are looking. So you can see things are a pretty big mess right now. All right, stand by. Here we go.